hello guys welcome back to my channel in this video today i'm gonna show you best performance setting for dock station ps1 emulator so let's get started guys i have different solutions of uh, this problem for dock station so do not skip any part of this video first solution is go to help and check for updates make sure your dock station ps1 emulator is already up to date because older version of dock station can cause many issues like performance or lag issue or any other issue for your games so make sure your dock station is already up to date second solution is go to settings and go to graphics tab and go to restore default click here and click on yes and close it if you are still facing the issue then I have uh, another solution solution number three go to settings and go to graphics tab and change your render from here click here and select Vulkan and after selecting Vulkan, select your GPU device name. And make sure your VSync mod is disabled already. Disabled and close it. And if you want to use Vulkan, then make sure you have already updated drivers for your GPU device. Go to control panel for your GPU device, whatever you are using. So I am using NVIDIA GPU. I go to my control panel and go to adjust image settings and select performance from here check this option and apply and go to manage 3d settings and scroll down and vertical sync should be off from here and power management mod select maximum performance and texture filtering quality select high performance and click on apply and go to program settings and go to add option and select your application file for the station and go to browse and go to your pc desktop so this is my duck station application file right click and open file location and select this application file open and make sure vsync mod is already off you can see already off and click on apply and guys make sure your drivers for your gp device already installed is up to date Go to search bar on your windows and type here DXDIAG. And press enter. And go to display. And you can see over here driver date and driver version already installed for your GP device. So guys this is my GP device name and driver date and driver version. So drivers for my GP device are already up to date in 2024. And if you're still facing the issue, then I have other solutions. Go to settings again and go to graphics tab and go to texture filtering. Select this one and go to internal resolution and select this one and close it. If you're still facing the issue, then go to settings again for your dock station. And go to console 
and check this option and increase your clock speed control from here so I select 205 and OK now right click and go to display settings and scroll down and go to graphic settings and I remove my old application already selected and go to browse and select this duck station application file right click open file location select this application file add options options high performance and save close it and if you are using duck station on your android then do not use power saving march while using duck station on your android and for more settings go to settings options again for duck station and go to advanced tab and go to audio options now you can change your backend you can select x audio 2 or cube app and go to graphics tab and if you don't want to use Walkon, then you can change your video backend from here. Select DirectTD 12 or DirectTD 11. But I recommend DirectTD 12 because I have already installed DirectX 12 in my Windows. So both options are useful to get more performance in Duck Station. And guys, make sure you have enough RAM. Uh, already installed new PC to play to run Duck Station on your PC. So you need to uh, check your installed RAM in your PC for Duck Station. Go to search bar on the Windows and top here MS Config and press Enter and go to uh, Boot Options and go to Advanced Options. And guys, you can see check this option. Now guys you can see over here your maximum memory already installed in your PC. So I have uh, 8192 it's mean it means uh, I have uh, uh, 8 gigabytes VRAM already installed in my PC. So if you want to use all RAMs in your PC then you can uncheck this option. And I have a four core processor, four core PC. You can see, you can select big number or you can uncheck this option to get more cores uh, uh, of your PCs. So uncheck this option or select big number. Uh, if a big, big number does not show, then you can uncheck this option and OK and apply and OK and restart your PC now. After restarting your PC, you can get more performance on your low-end PC for Duck Station. So I hope this tutorial will be helpful for you guys. If you like it, then please subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching.